Adobe InDesign's Style Packs feature is a great way to automatically format text, and in this video, I'll show you how it works. A style pack is a group of paragraph styles that can be applied with just one click. Powered by Adobe Sensei, AutoStyle will read the text in the frame and apply the style pack accordingly. In this tutorial, we'll go over how to customize and edit an existing style pack and apply it to a social media post for Facebook. So let's jump right into this video and start creating. I'm working on a social media post for Facebook. It's sized 1200 pixels by 630 pixels. I have a text frame here and I wanna import the text for this social media post. Let's go up to file and then go to place. Here's the document here, it's called add copy and I'm just gonna click open to open it up. Now the next thing we wanna do is open up the style packs window. To access that, go up to window, styles, and then style packs. Now InDesign already comes with some built-in style packs, but in this tutorial, we're gonna go ahead and create our own. You can see in the style packs window here, there are some default style packs, and if you like any of these, simply just click on this arrow with the cloud to download the style pack that you want. That will access the font and the colors that go with them. Now, once you download these style packs, they'll appear in your paragraph styles. You can see them here. I've created one previously called social media and I'll show you how that works later on. But here are the default ones, Avenue, Tuxedo, Skate, Universal. What I'm gonna do is click on this and then apply the style pack by clicking this play icon. Now you can see that applied the paragraph setting to everything in the, in the text frame here. So I'm gonna place my cursor in the title and click heading. I'm gonna place my cursor in the subhead and click subhead and this will leave as paragraph. You can see it's already set to paragraph. Now, I don't want to keep these settings. I'd like to create my own custom style pack. So what I'll do is click on Avenue, right click, and then choose Duplicate Style Group. Now you can see that creates a copy, but let's rename this. So I'm gonna click on it once until it highlights, and then I'm gonna call this Facebook Ad. Now I wanna make sure that this text frame has this Facebook ad style pack applied. So I'm just gonna click this play button again and it will update automatically. Now here comes the fun part. We can actually edit and customize this to make it our own style pack. Let's take a closer look. Let me just minimize the style packs window and we're gonna focus our attention on the paragraph styles window instead. Remember, we're working on this one here, Facebook ad. I'm gonna click off so I'm not selected on this and now what I can do is collapse this Facebook ad group here and start targeting the heading, subhead, and paragraph. So let's start with the heading first. I'm gonna double click that and that'll bring up the paragraph style options. And this is where you can add all your customization. As a first step, I'm gonna go to basic character formats and I wanna change the font to ITC Avant Garde Gothic Pro. I want the font style weight to be bold but I want the size to be 78. And you can see that the changes are happening in real time. You just have to make sure that you've clicked this preview box down below. I'm gonna increase the letting to 68 point. You can see that opens it up a bit. The tracking, I'm actually going to decrease that to minus 20. I'm gonna make my way over to the indents and spacing tab here, and I'm gonna focus my attention on the space after field. I wanna decrease this to 28. As a last step for our title, I'm gonna go down to character, color, and I've created two colors for our custom style pack. One's called Social Media Blue, and the other is Social Media Magenta. I'm gonna click on Social Media Blue. Once you've done that, go ahead and click OK. So we've customized the heading, now we can move on to the subhead. Same thing, double click to open up the paragraph style options. Now to remain consistent with the branding, I'm gonna to go to basic character formats and use the same font, ITC Avant Garde Gothic Pro. And the font style here will be medium. The font size I'll leave at 28 point. The letting will be 32 point. The tracking here will set to zero. Next, I'll go to indents and spacing again. And the space after here will be 32. But I also wanna change the left indent and I'll show you why in just a sec. I'm gonna go ahead and change that to 24 pixels. 
you could see that shifts the text to the left ever so slightly. I'm gonna make my way to the paragraph border tab here and I'm gonna turn the border on. Now you can see the stroke weight for the border is set to one point all the way around. I'm gonna break that link and change these top, bottom, and right to zero. You can see that leaves the left side of the border only. Now I'm going to increase the point size of the weight of that border to about six point. Let's focus our attention on the offsets section down below. Again, break that link and let's change the left side only to negative six. You can see that that line is coming a little bit closer to the text and that's what we want. To the right of that, where it says bottom edge, right now it says descent, we want baseline. You can see that the line of that is now aligned with the bottom of the text. I'm gonna change the color of that line to social media magenta. And then finally, I'm gonna to go to character color and I'm going to change the text color to social media blue. I'm going to click OK, and now we can focus on paragraph. I'm going to double click that. Again, it'll bring up the paragraph style options. Let's go to basic character formats. Once again, this will be ITC, Avant Garde Gothic Pro. The weight of this will be medium. The size is going to be 22, and the letting will be 24. I'm gonna change the tracking to negative 20, and as a last step, I'm gonna click on character color and I'm going to make this social media blue once again. Click OK. And now this style pack is completed. Next, let me show you how to toggle between style packs in a project. I'm gonna to go to my layers panel here and I have an image layer as well as my background. And here is the social media post in its completed form. If I go back to the paragraph styles and I click on this text frame, you can see that we still have our Facebook ad style pack applied, but let's say I wanted the social media. If I click that, you could see it converts to a style pack that I created previously. If you're not satisfied, click on the style pack we just created. And these ones that are built into InDesign will work as well. So that's a great way of customizing and editing style packs in Adobe InDesign. Thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. If you'd like to learn more about Adobe InDesign, then check out this playlist right up here. Until next time, take care and keep creating.